Morning guys. All right, day number four. I uh, woke up not feeling too bad, surprisingly, from yesterday's push. I think my body's just starting to get like so conditioned for this. Um, yeah, so ahead of me, I got this big stretch of wilderness. I don't know if I'll make it to it today or not. I have to see how long I'm gonna push. But you know, my goal for today is like maybe 60 miles or so, stay in a nice hotel and then plow through the wilderness tomorrow. But you know, we'll see. I, it's probably not a good idea to just push too hard and like put myself in a scenario that's unsafe. So yeah, today I'm gonna head through, I think it's called 29 Palms, make it through there and then, you know, just get some rest and then have a big day tomorrow. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, starting things off. Nice and cool out right now. Um, if you could see behind me, I don't know if you can, but no shoulder. So this is like, it's called 62. It's like the main highway that runs through Joshua Tree and all this stuff. Um, gets pretty busy, people are going fast. So definitely gotta be careful. Also, I saw some comments asking about pushing switch. So picture, like I'm pretty good at pushing switch. I've practiced my whole life trying to be equal. I never really realized what that meant, like to be equal. Like when you're pushing locally, like at your skate park or something, you got a nice little switch push, like cool, good job. It's a whole different thing when you're going uphill on the side of the road, cars flying by you, like <laughs> that's when you're officially like good at pushing switch. So uh, anyway. Some spots I couldn't do that yesterday because it was just too dangerous. So my foot that goes on the board gets really sore because it's just all the weight's always on it and it's constantly like, I'm like pivoting and shifting a little bit. So the ankle joint gets a little sore. Sometimes with these super steep downhills, I have to drag my foot a lot. It could almost be just as exhausting as the uphills. Like I, not quite, but it could definitely be annoying and you're using muscles you don't normally use. Also, if I was wearing a regular skate shoe right now, I think I would have burned through it after like day four because these, these Adidas might wear down, but they got such a thick sole. I think I'll be good for a little while, but yeah, regular skate shoe. Would have been pretty burnt by now. Might not be many more stops after this, so just gotta stock up on some water while I can. All right, good to go. Looks like a fun hill. After yesterday, this hill feels like a speed bump. What goes up must come down. I'm cooking right now. You have no idea how much speed these wheels pick up downhill. It's insane, like a normal hill I'd bomb on my skateboard, I could do like half, oh, even like a quarter of it on this thing. See, like this downhill right here, this is nice. Nothing too crazy, don't have to push. You know, I don't have to like slow myself down. Joshua Tree, right there. Joshua Tree is amazing. I highly recommend it for a vacation for anyone, getaway, something like that. 
It's like the trees are so unique. It just like leaves this distinct impression when you leave. I don't know. For me, it just like stayed in my mind. And between that and like the desert, I don't know. Just such a vibe. Definitely recommend checking it out. So funny. I called around like local taxis and the guy who answered, he actually saw me on the road skating. <laughs> so he's going to pick me up in like 40 miles or so, hopefully. Um, I gave him my location. It's just kind of hard to schedule that because probably going to lose service. Like I don't know exactly where I'm going to stop. I'm just telling him a time and luckily I'm staying on this one road so he could just drive. But you know, for someone to take that drive, like, I don't know. It's like, it sounds like something will get messed up. Most people want to pass on it. So I'm just hoping he's reliable because, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be out in the wilderness. Dumb and dumber right there. Wow, that was incredible. I wish I had that for the vlog. I was live on TikTok, skating up the road, and a family came out, mother, a bunch of kids, and they were just cheering me on, came out with a water, an apple, orange. And then like two miles down the road, someone else came out on a quad cheering me on it's like I'm in the middle of nowhere though it's just insane I don't even know how they like know about it all right it is just me out here I'm deep now I'm in I'm in the wilderness occasional car passes by but it's definitely quieted down the wind picked up a bit out here it's blowing against me but not too bad so quiet and peaceful out here. Makes you realize like all the chaos, all the thoughts and things going on, stuff you're doing every day. Like underneath all that is just like some silence. Like life can be pretty simple, you know? crazy how quiet it is man it is like I thought it was quiet before but once I stopped hearing my board so silent <laughs> come on man A little sand never hurt anybody right Cutting the day short today, so gotta get back out there and get as many mile, miles in as I can. All right, so just looked at my phone. I'm officially out of service now. It says SOS. You know, before it was like still normal, but just wasn't really working well in and out spotty. Now it's just nothing, so. There you go. All right, well, just hit mile 50. Um, everything looks the same out here for this little sign right here. So I think I'm gonna use that as my marker. Come back tomorrow and finish out the rest of this wilderness stretch. I have to look and like check the map, but um, maybe like 70 miles. No, probably more than that, 80, 90, 100. I don't think I did that many in the wilderness today. Like a large chunk of them were on the way. So I just gotta check, but either way, 
the rest of this is getting plowed through tomorrow. So this is definitely going to be my highest mileage I've ever skated tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I got one Slim Jim left. I got like, who knows, a couple of water. And uh, yeah, hopefully this guy shows up and uh, picks me up. <laughs> All right. Oh, there he is. Look at the perfect timing right there. That's amazing. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.